Within this video, we're going to talk about how to use the phasing tool inside of Twinmotion. Now, this is going to be a very simple and very quick tutorial, and this can go very, very deep. But with these basic steps, you'll have quite a bit of information to go ahead and create some really cool, really fun animations. To begin this, I would suggest having whatever it is that you're going to be animating and or building totally and completely finished. And then you can kind of come back and like break it down afterwards. So the two things that we're going to definitely need to work with this is the outliner. So over here on the right, I'll go ahead and open up the outliner. So you can see we have all of the bits and pieces that we're actually going to be working with. And we want to make sure that they're all visible right now. And then we're also going to need the actual phasing tool, which you can find down here inside of the media. So I'll go ahead and just click on that. And right over here, we have our phasing. Go ahead and click this. Now I've already got one in here, so let's take a look at what has actually happened here. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this once, and you'll see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven phases down here at the bottom of this. And really all I'm gonna do is just click and drag on the scrubber here and then just move it to the right. And each time I get to a new phase, a new piece actually becomes visible. And that's really all there is to it. We just need to be able to turn on the visibility for each of these pieces over time. Okay, now we can run one track, we can run two tracks, and I'll show you how to work all this stuff too. So let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and create a new phase. And inside of this phase one, you can see there's just this one little area that's actually visible. And over here on the right, you'll notice that these little icons, these little eyes, these are the only things that are visible on this house. So this phase one contains everything that is visible over here. So let's go ahead and just move this to the outside of it. You'll notice that everything disappears because there's nothing over here on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our phase one is selected. And I'm actually just going to shorten the time on this. There we go. So it's only going to be showing up for a small amount of time. And what I'm going to do next is go ahead and add in a new phase. Now, if I have phase one selected and I click this create phase button, it'll add another one to the other side. And as I roll into it, it actually maintains what was in phase one. So this is really helpful. So let's go ahead and just crunch phase two down here. And then I can start to turn on some of these other parts. So let's say we wanna go ahead and bring in some of these doors and let's go ahead and see the shower door over there as well. Cool, so we'll call that phase two. Now, if I don't have anything selected over here on the left, and I hit this create phase, what ends up happening is that we get a second track down here below. And in my case, that's not something I need, but that may be something that you want to play with because you may need something to like show up for a little while and then disappear again later. In my case, I'm just going to use track one. So if you had something like, I don't know, birds or maybe construction workers and you needed to phase them in and then phase them out, the second track or third track or fourth track becomes really helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this one and delete it and get rid of it. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the ellipses here and delete that second track. So let's go back over here and select our second phase. I'll go ahead and create a, another phase in here. Oh, actually this reset. So let's go ahead and just bring our doors back. There we go. And go back into our phasing here. There we go. So we have that one, perfect. So those are there. And then also the shower doors here too. Cool. So with this one selected, I'll go ahead and say create another phase. And now we have phase three. So with phase three selected, let's go ahead and bring in something like the exterior. And let's go into the windows on this one as well. All right, so next let's go ahead and shrink this down. And this is a lot of just kind of rinse and repeat. So it'll be very easy to kind of recreate this. So phase four, let's go ahead and bring in these outer walls go ahead and bring in another one, phase five. And with this one selected, I'll go ahead and bring in the outer shell and the chimney. There we go. And then, heck, let's go ahead and just one more phase in here. And this last one, let's go ahead and bring back all the furniture so we have everything inside of here. So now, as I scrub through here, you'll be able to see each one of these. Basically, it's just toggling the visibility on for whatever object or actual folder that's over here on the right-hand side. And that's a real simple and easy way to create phasing inside of Twinmotion.